Hey, welcome to Handmade Home. I am Hester. I probably have to introduce myself there as I hardly create any content for you this year. I am so sorry. I will do better next time, I promise. Uh, yeah, I had a baby in January and had a bit of maternity leave and then I went straight into doing a new book. My fifth book is coming out next year and it looks amazing. I completely finished it now and it took some time because I had to design, build and photograph 35 projects. Uh, doing that while looking after a baby is a bit tricky so I didn't have any time in making any videos for the Hester's Headmade Home channel. But I'm back and hopefully from now on I'm gonna produce one new video for you a week. Fingers crossed. So the first video of the new lot is my little day bed. I want a, a chill space for my studio. Somewhere I could relax, have a bit of a chill, but also I didn't want it to be too big. I need to be quite small because the space is not big. I couldn't find anything in the shops I liked. So I built my own. I got two cot mattresses that are 60 by 120 centimeters and built a frame around it. Have a look how easy it is to build your own little day bed. This small day bed is made for two cot mattresses that are 120 by 60 centimeters. The wood you need for this day bed is a plain soft wood and I use an 18 by 94 millimeter plank and a square one of 32 by 32 millimeters. The sizes you need are two planks of 60 centimeters, two planks of 121 centimeters and nine planks of 60 centimeters. From the square timber, you're gonna need eight pieces of 18 centimeters and two pieces of 105 centimeters. Starting with the two long 121 centimeter pieces, you're gonna drill some holes, two on the bottom, right and left, and then a hole every 10 centimeters. These holes you're gonna countersink as well. Give all your planks a nice sand so the edges are nice and smooth. We're moving on to the legs, you're gonna glue two pieces together. So instead of eight 18 centimeter pieces, you're gonna end up with four pieces. These are the four legs. You're gonna put a frame together, so you have a long plank, a long square piece, a leg and a side piece. It's gonna look sort of like this. Then we're gonna take the leg and a side piece away and you're gonna mark where the long square piece ends. And in between the two marks you just made, you're gonna apply wood glue. This is to keep the long piece in place. Place it on top and use some clamps to keep it in place. And you're gonna screw these two pieces together with the pre-drilled holes you already made. Wipe away any excess wood glue and then you're gonna apply a bit more glue for the leg. Put the leg in place, and use a clamp to keep it in place, then flip your planks over and use a corner square just to make sure your leg is on a 90 degree angle and screw it in place. Make the other side of your day bed in exactly the same way, so you're gonna end up with two pieces of frame like this. Now it's time to put it all together, so apply a bit more glue on the side and on the leg. And here you're gonna attach one of the side pieces. You pre-drilled holes for these in the corners. You countersink them as well and screw in place. Screw the other side to the other piece of the frame and you're gonna end up with a frame looking a little bit like this. Place the nine 60 centimeter pieces inside your frame, spread them out evenly and screw them in place to the bottom. Your day bed's almost ready to be used. All you need to do is fill the screw holes with a bit of polyfiller. Make it nice and flat and once dried, give it a, a sand and then it's ready to be painted. I painted the day bed in pure any Sloan chalk paint and gave it two coats of paint. Then I inserted my two cot mattresses that are covered in a fabric from cloth and candy. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and share it on your social media. Like I said before, I hopefully am back now with a new video every week. See you soon!